one. Uh, what's going on, guys? It's the Lifecast back again in this quarantine with me, Casper, and my co-host Luke. How are you saying? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, we did link up yesterday, which is yeah. No, that's social not distance. Even, I can't even, <laughs> Oh Can't shit, just baited ourselves out. <laughs> bro, we're going pen, free up the man then, bro. Free up the man for link up. Yeah, free him up. Who? Who yeah, are you freeing up? Went... Us. Oh, right. About we're getting put in pen for going oh. social... <laughs> oh, take social distancing, bro. That's taking a six bill fine. <laughs> this is shocking, bro. But yeah, nah, so, yeah, we went to Tesco yesterday. That's that's what the world has come to, bro. Our link up is to go to Tesco. Link up at Tesco, come on. Yeah, so that's a bit mad. Um, but yeah, but yeah I mean, the world, the world's, I, 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 like, there's a saying, the world is turning, but it's really not right now. Yeah, but I mean, we move in it. <laughs> we, move. <laughs> well, we do, but I feel like the whole world isn't moving. Nah, that's true. So like everything just gone into shutdown. Yeah, we're gonna. Have you? Uh, this is completely related to, um, coronavirus, but. This is also just like really random that I just remembered, and um, uh-huh. I was watching a video earlier, and it's like about a guy who knows people within the Chinese like government, and like he's high up in like business and like the government side of things. Like he's just very knowledgeable, or whatever. And um, is this the guy from London, the one that lives in London permanently? I don't know who's that. Oh, okay, we're talking about different things. Yeah, Karen, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll so, say my name later. Yeah. So um, this guy's saying. Like the Chinese deaths is what like two and a half thousand, isn't it? I can't remember how much the cases like no, the deaths like are. Eight or something like that. Oh, well, anyway, I mean, obviously, because China is um like very what's the word like state controlled, if that makes sense. Like everything is just yep. monitored and run by like the gov, like the Fed and yep. stuff. So um, this guy saying the the amount of deaths they published is extremely lower. It's fake. Yeah, fake. I was gonna say the same thing. This this guy in uh this guy in the U- this big Chinese billionaire in the UK was mm. saying I like, don't trust the, the the Chinese government either, and basically, um, I heard about this from my dad because he was watching some program on TV or some shit, mm. and apparently there's Donny like um, like cause, cause a lot of people might say it's like fake news or whatever, but my dad was like oh it was like it was in like a story given by the the Polish government, so like yeah. uh, you you'd hope that like the, if it's a government information, it's not fake. Well, you know, like you can I take run it own... from China's perspective, is it? <laughs> well, yeah, but you can take your own spit. Well, in a in a civilized democratic uh, country, not a mm. not a state controlled fucking uh, dictatorship. No, nah, but yeah. So, um, apparently, uh, this, like, they did some, like, research or something. Yeah. And, um, they did it through, like, Google database or some bullshit like that, I think. Well, is this, like, a number um, generator? Like, it, put, it plugs in numbers or? It, they, 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 re- like, they, they were checking, like, people's, like, login statuses. Oh. And apparently, since the beginning of coronavirus, um, 21 million Chinese people have not logged onto the internet. Wow. I mean, that's not Which to say there's, that's that there's many people. Two, <laughs> there's two, there's two, like, explanations to that. Either because everything got shut down in the country, mm. like, internet went out in certain areas and people didn't have internet. Oh, shit. Or, they're dead. Damn. Like, I don't really see any other explanation. Yeah, I mean, I've seen similar things obviously like this is not to contradict what you've said at all but you know I've seen things where people are saying like the correlation between cases and deaths and what they've published is just a load of rubbish because obviously if you look over here in like the western world it's it's not like to say there's like a massive correlation but I mean it's more like the data is just there rather than like in China where people are saying it could be like northwards of like 500,000 deaths I mean, for the size of the, it, it, it doesn't, like, make sense for the size of the country, for mm. the amount of cases they've got. Like, I don't really believe, like, a billion, a bil- like, over a billion people in a country and mm. only 80,000 of them are, like, got affected. But Man, that's, like, that's, that's under 0.1%. And you're trying to tell me that China, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call it, like, a less economically developed country, but, like, there's a massive gap in... In not necessarily like pay, but like there's a big gap in like wealth and whatever. 
So you're trying to tell me like people yeah. that are like living not even any distributed. Yeah, exactly. People living in a yeah, bro, um, Ma- disproportionately distributed like economic country. Macau is oh. like Macau is like the most densely populated con like not country but mm. i don't know what macau i don't really understand what macau like because it's an autonomous region in the south coast of china yeah which i don't i don't know that basically it's part of china yeah it's like hong kong it's still technically part of china but it's an autonomous state and macau is like the most densely populated area in the whole world mm. and it's like what, in terms if of like land mass and that, like it's just very no, it, like the is people per square mile. Yeah, so, so Macau has forty eight thousand people per square mile. Do you, so that's like saying you're coming down that's to insane. where I'm at right now and a bit further, and there's so many mandem in that. Forty eight k man, yeah, yeah. There's forty seven thousand nine hundred ninety other fuckers. <laughs> that's crazy. It's, it is crazy, bro. That's a lot of people on one square mile. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So yeah, so it's like, like there's no way, bro. If one man gets coronavirus in Macau, bro, like a hundred million people yeah, get yeah. them, bro. You know what I mean? you know, like, that, that. like, my like the population of Macau is six hundred and twenty-two thousand. <laughs> like, bro, that like one man coughs and six hundred thousand people yeah, have easy. it. Like, I don't want to hear it. So it's like coronavirus. Let's look at coronavirus statistics. Yeah, bro. Th- these men are trying to say they ha- these men haven't had a case in like three weeks. <laughs> they said they said they've got it under control. Mm. You know, bullshit, bro. Apparently yeah, there was yeah, some bro. like 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 someone was saying that like um in China like they're just they're just bullshit in the stats. Like you're just like apparently there's like. There's the, there's this whole thing of this so like there's a um, media blackout in in um in China right now, mm. and it's simply to um to stop people from posting on the internet like what's actually happening and shit. Because apparently like someone leaked it or something like that. Apparently it's same almost same scenario as Italy, bro. Like literally people are coming in fucking army trucks, picking up dead bodies <laughs> and fucking just. Crem- like basically cremate them like yeah, on lock know. and just because yeah. like they don't have space anymore for anything they just fucking burn them and just next one bro that's scary bro like it's it just is. it's literally like uh, nah I mean, fuck that. I mean that man started like, it as well so I don't want to <laughs> hear it <laughs> some you eating a bat come on man grow up bro, I don't no 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 I don't believe that either I'm just saying that as nah, well I don't it's, believe it's, it's, it's man made one hundred percent, bruv. Wuhan, yeah, the place where it came out of, Wuhan has the biggest center to do with like, m- like microbiology or something. Hmm. Bruv, it has Wuhan Institute of Virology. Bruv, what are we dealing with? A virus, blood. Why, what, what fuck, blood? Could you not be more subtle? <laughs> Genuinely, Wuhan has the leading virology institute in China. Blood, I can't be asked. <laughs> uh, these men just fucking released their fucking kraken on us, bro. And bro, I don't, bro, I'm gonna get shot by the Chinese government if I speak. So if I speak, I'm in trouble, bro. But I'll like, <laughs> but like, ah, uh, the amount of things that China's doing right now is sucking a bit mad, still. Bro. This is, I don't know how much I can say without actually getting capped by the government, but... <laughs> just don't say anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, here, nah, here's my thing, is, like, obviously now we're facing, like, economic problems because of that. And, like, there's, like, a big... Obviously, with, like, the $2 trillion stimulus package in America, bro, if people... Like, you know what I mean? It's just showing how, like, fucked everything is because you're telling me that the Fed can go and print $2 trillion dollars and then they're like yeah. oh yeah everything's fine now Ooh. yeah but but do you not remember like the hyperinflation in germany after the war <laughs> do you know what i mean didn't didn't my man didn't my man say that he he's gonna clear the 13 billion pound debt from the nhs my mom yeah. was like yeah i would clear it now, what the fuck do you mean you just clear it bruv well fuck you mean it's just the budget of england you know what i mean like we're, it's like this is what the tories have kind of done with the NHS, like, I basically look. made it run really lean, which is not good. 
Loki, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to talk about this conspiracy theory I heard. It's kind of jokes. Basically, this man, this man proposed on the internet that the working of coronavirus is like, um, it's all like manufactured by like um, the shit like New World Order and stuff like that, hmm. and like uh, the Illuminati and shit. And basically, well, I don't know, but the Illuminati might be bullshit. Yeah. Like genuinely, but I genuinely think there's a group of people that are like that, but aren't called Illuminati because of how like um. So the right word I'm like looking for like it's been like made viral like it's too bait, but basically yeah. it's like this a... man. Sorry, sorry. This man made this theory that these man it, it sounds like I I don't know if I believe in like a group of people that like want to control the whole world but like i mean i do because there's been people like that before but not in this way Hmm. it's like so what they did was they manufactured this this fucking um this virus remember that post you sent like me or put on your story something about like the whole bullshit about like everyone's a pedophile in there (laughs) america's done some big fucking like thing where they're taking all these men from the pedophile rings and shit out yeah oh um... i think you posted yeah, the um, Jeffrey Epstein thing. Yeah, it's tied to it, yeah. So, so basically, what what these men are theorizing is these people are release this release this virus in order to lock down the whole world, cripple everyone's economy to the point where it's like irreversible. Mm-hmm. That what they want to do is create like a world economy. Mm in order to get it back up and create this whole new new world order thing Damn. where the whole world is controlled by one dictatorship and economy. That's fucking correct. Wow. Which would be a bit... It should be a bit mad, can't lie. <laughs> That's... I mean, what I'm about to say now is obviously different, but very similar to what you just said. Like, like you know how you say... Yeah making it like a one like a new world order like one kind of like overarching thing where mm. like what i've seen and read and kind of like what i'm interpreting this is one key thing yeah people that can't interpret or infer obviously like we did an a level just saying mm-hmm. history if you can't like interpret or infer from things and then you have an argument with me because you can't understand like pers- like perspective like just shut the fuck up please because it's like what i'm gaining from other people you know what i mean like this is just why i think so um like what i'm seeing obviously like with the whole printing of money and just like everything going into economic like almost like chaos if you want to say um it's just it's just making like a really good opportunity or not or, like good opportunity and for some people obviously but like a generational like a transfer of wealth from like traditional um commodities and equity whatever into like modern things so it's like for example like cryptocurrency or like new new things and devaluing like the dollar and the pound and the euro obviously if, if you're printing two trillion dollars you're basically making it less valuable obviously because there's more in circulation then prices rise and then we go into hyperinflation or a form of inflation that's how it works right so what we're seeing right now is almost like you know, you know, if it's like too, it's too perfect to be random and not man-made. Off the back end of everything. Mm. Like that's, yeah. that's just that's just my like vision of things. Like it's it's too like textbook to just be a troll. Or, you know, not a troll. You know, what I mean? like it's just like random. Mm-hmm. It's just happening as like a result of everything. It's there's pretty people no one even knows or heard of and they're like the ones pulling the spr- like the um strings of like Trump and the like administration. Yeah, to me this all just seems like I don't know, some kind of fucking ploy. I don't know man, there's no way there was just a random virus that came out of nowhere and it's just crippled the whole world. Like, I don't, yeah. don't want to hear it man. Like as you're saying, like this is all too much like textbook for it to be like just not just like a random occurrence like this is thought out this is planned out 
And like this whole coronavirus bullshit thing is <clears throat> stupid anyway, because coronavirus has been around for years. Hmm. So why is it all of a sudden killing everyone? Like, okay, I understand viruses and stuff mutate, but it's like, the shit just came out of nowhere, bro. My man ate a bat and man's got coronavirus. Like, nah, I don't, I don't know about this, man. And they yeah. made these bullshit stories for people to believe, like, fucking, my man ate a bat and all of a sudden fucking killed half the fucking world. Are you dumb? It's it's for, like, the, non, like, the non-minded people. Like, they're just going to yeah. believe it straight away. It's, oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, it's, this guy ate a bat. and No, come on. Open Basically, your eyes. another thing I also want to talk to you about because it's quite a prevalent topic right now. Um, what do you think about five G? I don't. Because a lot of people, I've been seeing theories online. I've been seeing like even celebrities well, like. Gonna mind Amanda. <laughs> um, nah, not even. Uh, Amanda, like even Amanda Holden, like talked about. Basically, mm. what five G technology does. Like this, this is no bullshit. This is no theory or anything. This is truth. Like yeah. this is in research books. Like you can read books about it. Everyone knows the effects of this. Yet they still decided to go forward with it for some bullshit reason. And we can get to those bullshit reasons further. On um, what five G technology does? It's it's radio waves, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing about but the thing about it is, and I don't I don't want to sound stupid by getting it wrong, but it either it either blocks or yeah, I think it blocks oxygen from getting into things. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, so basically, what 5G does is, like, it just fucking... So you know how people tell you to, like, turn off your phone or, like, not keep your phone next to you when you're sleeping because it, like, fucks you up? Yeah. Like, all of the waves and shit, that's how, that's how acting on your, like, on your brain and stuff. Mm. But this... um this 5g technology thing what it does is like it disallows oxygen to be um binded to your hemoglobin okay like the oxygen physically doesn't get into your body yeah and so obviously what happens when you don't have oxygen in your body you start you have nothing to respire with Mm. hence you start losing like energy physically and you start fainting and you feel weak, and to the point where if you don't have enough oxygen, you just die. Yeah. So 5G is basically frying us. But and like, there's even research. Like I saw this photo ages, like this video ages ago. They put a 5G like um, tower receiver thingy next to a tree, right? And they did like a time lapse, and the tree on the side of the 5G receiver, completely died. Like, it was dead. Like, really? Completely dead. The other yeah. side, completely fine. That's correct. And I saw this... No, no, I'm not joking, bro. What the fuck? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find the video. Uh, man alleges tree is being killed off by 5G transmitter. What the fuck? Great, here we go. Okay, right. Big man. Look, so, I mean, it's like, like, there's, he has a 5G, um, he has a 5G receiver, uh, near his house. If you watch the video, um, literally just half of the fucking tree is dead, whereas the other half of the tree is completely fine. What the fuck? And so it's like, and then, um, I'm watching this video now. So what? Damn. Yeah. So basically, um, what five G does is actually it doesn't block um, oxygen. Like I I knew it was one or the other, but it doesn't block. It actually absorbs oxygen. Oh, so then there's less for you to absorb, or? Yeah, it literally physically absorbs the oxygen. So, like. It's it's all to do with this like fucking physics. I died. I'm too shit at physics to understand. Uh, but it's to do with like electrons and like oscillations and shit. Yeah. It's I I don't really understand the, the, the actual part of it. But what happens is basically the five G takes in this fucking oxygen and it can't 
goes to your hemoglobin and it fucks you up, basically. Damn. So it's like, this shit's been tested and it's been, like, people know that this shit's bad. And then I saw this guy's theory and, like, I don't agree with part of the theory because he says that there's no coronavirus, we're just getting fucked by this 5G, which I don't believe because I think there's an actual virus. But the one thing that I'm kind of, like, interested about what he was saying, like, I don't believe it, but I'm interested by what he was saying, is this man said that they're putting up these 5G receptors and shit. Yeah. And they're gonna... He said they're gonna blame this on some, like, virus or something. Anything without... like. And they're gonna no force... There's no way... Like, I just force you to take vaccinations. Game, yeah? And he thinks that the governments will be put like, microchips in those vaccinations in order to, like, always, like, keep track on you and, like... Yeah. Tra- and, like, just, just shit like that. Stuff. Yeah, so he thinks that, like, they're trying to fuck everyone over, put them indoors, and then be like, oh, we've got this magical vaccine, Hmm. and this vaccine, he thinks that they'll have, like, microchips in them and shit, and it just, like, control us and just Mm -hmm. do whatever the fuck they want with us. So it's like, I I don't believe it, but it's interesting to me. Like, it's an interesting theory. No. I mean, mean, it all... (laughs) Two cents. It all kind of, like, builds up into quite gas, because one big is just, like, something new. Like fucking problem. Yeah. So, so it's, yeah. The whole thing about five G is it's uh, um. So you, so you know how there's different frequencies, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the five G frequency is at sixty gigahertz, right? And apparently, the the sixty gigahertz absorb like. So what it hits says here is that sixty gigahertz oxygen molecules become highly absorb absorbent of electromagnetic energy. Mm. Which, uh, as I said, just like, fucks yeah. you and yeah. takes your oxygen and makes well, you so like people die. All over Twitter, like, saying, oh, um, so yeah, five G is not very, not very good. It's gonna fry us, to be honest. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> we're we're living through the thick of it. And also. Hmm. The first ever 5G tower was probably made like in the 1500s. <laughs> Why is it 1500s? No, but the first ever 5G tower was put up in China. Oh, I don't know. Easy, easy testing. Yeah, so that's mad. Well, on a lighter yeah, note, yeah, <laughs> um, uh, we'll switch up the topic. We are now. On, we're in like the twenties for the podcast now. So um, Lovely as stuff. of as of just now, I literally just uploaded the episode twenty one uh, podcast. So I didn't Damn. realize um, like obviously we're saying it's number twenty, but we didn't actually know. So um, yeah, this so this is officially the twenty second one, and yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it because obviously now we have a lot of time with coronavirus, and I mean we could be doing podcasts every day, but. I mean, right, uh, you just back... run out of things to talk about in that respect because obviously, yeah, it, you're just basically being like news to each other. It's like, oh, have you read this? And it's like, yeah, of course we have because. <laughs> Especially now that we're it. sitting inside, it's like counterproductive because it's like, yeah, we have time to talk about things, but it's like we don't have time to talk about we we have time to talk about things, but we haven't really done anything. Like yeah, our podcast, we usually be. like our podcast. We usually like once a week, and we just yeah. talk about like, basically what happened within the week. Exactly. Like, we just talk about what happened within that week. But right now, like if if we did once a week, we, we would sit down here and I was like, yeah. So uh, Friday I sat and played games. Uh, Saturday I sat yeah. and played games. Uh, Sunday I played games. Uh, Monday I played games. Nice. Uh, Tuesday um... I did a bit of uni work, but then I played games. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's not really anything to. No, exactly. I mean, obviously, with me, I'm, I'm back on my, like, not I wouldn't say grind, but you know, like I'm uploading, like you know, I made the, the new channel. Yeah. And it's just nice to kind of. I'm, I've got a schedule every Saturday and Wednesday. I upload. So today I'll upload later because we're recording on a Saturday. But this video will come out probably a week from today or later because we kind of not in a backlog of content, but I think we've really kind of built our own schedule in a way where when we're free or like when we have time 
we can we just mash upload video. and we yeah we can mash up a video and like this podcast will probably be like an hour or something whatever and then mm. boom that's content for like next week and then we have another video we'll record probably tomorrow or monday tuesday you know what i mean and then we have the easter weekend like we have so much um time to do stuff so we're but i think we kind of got our groove with the podcast to be fair I, personally that's what i think but mm. it's just nice to keep it going really yeah, that's facts. But yeah, um, I've decided to occupy myself during this uh, nice. coronavirus pandemic with something else, and I'm uh, I'm back to making music. Oh yeah, that's um. Anything you yeah, want to bring up on that? That's a drill. Uh, <laughs> bruv, yeah, I've made a drill song. Oh, you made it. I well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get my mic to record it, but. I've written all the bars yesterday. Nice. It took me four hours to write the bars. Is that good or bad? Um, before it's taken me probably about a half hour <laughs> a song. It, it took me four hours to write the bars. I wrote forty-four bars. Ooh, forty-four more. You want to? Jeez, come on. You better you send them over. You got the beat. You as want well. a little preview? Oh yeah, I got the beat. I mean, send it over if you want. Not... Beat's be quite beat's quite simple, but it's well, it's effective. Um, I was gonna say we could use this channel. I now walk one. What? Bro, did my bars not save? Ah, uh, no, 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 don't do this. Oh, no, I did it. <laughs> ah! Oh, bro, I would have actually shot myself, bro. <laughs> but you should put in the notes on your phone. I'd, that's what I would do. But um, what I was gonna say is, we could actually use this, like the podcast channel, to put your content on, like the video, or like you know what I mean, like put the audio track with like a visual. Yeah. Because yeah, obviously, um. Yeah. In, like, it's different, but like, you don't have your own YouTube channel besides like your old one with Jan and stuff. So yeah. you could put it on here and then not. It sounds so dumb, but it's not. It's not promoting, but it's just having a platform for it. Obviously. Yeah, better, just a different platform to yeah. like game over. Yeah, I'd be down. Because I'd, I'd definitely be down. I mean, by doing that, you just have it on there. There's no need to yeah. um do anything else. So it's like that'd be. Pretty lit. And at this fair. point, I want to produce good enough music to like be proud of it to the point that I'm gonna put it on Spotify, which mm. costs money. But yeah, I could I could do a little preview of some bars for the podcast. That'd be good. Okay, bring it up. Uh, G, come on. Obviously, I've got um, I got I. This is like a drill song, isn't it? Mm. So like, I can't really talk about my experiences of drillings because I don't drill. I don't so I've think... kind of just taken, I've kind of taken inspiration from a couple songs. I've yeah. I've listened to a couple drill songs. I haven't stolen any bars. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done any of that. But I've just been listening to the drill. I've just been listening to what man are saying, and I've got I've got a couple like I. I, I, I got a bar, for example. Told her babes, come give me pleasure. Mm. Brain so good, I call her professor. Jeez. <laughs> that's Jeez, hard. Come on. I mean, FOI. I mean, like FOI for everyone else. That's not really like a lyric that's going to get you in trouble with Manda <laughs> coming nah, free. That's not a on. drill drill thing where it's like, you could do some. Bro, I got some bars, bro. bruv. Shooters up front like Drogba. I mm. be the middleman like Pogba. Okay. Man, like, yeah, come on. Where's some? I want some more. <laughs> Sounded quite hard. <laughs> but my flow on this is gonna be nice, you know. I can't yeah. lie, hey, bro. I mean, you you know what? I can see you being like. I mean, there's no resemblance at all to you and like Hardy Caprio. But you know, like his bars are so hard in a summary. I feel like you could be like a drill. Oh, bro, I would love to. I mean? I would love to be like a summary kind of like rapper, but I don't have like I I I need vocals and I don't have vocals, man. I, yeah, my voice say. is so shit. Like them, them people like they do like the I don't even know like, summer tunes or summer bangers. They have vocals, but they also have like bars, and you just have the bars yeah. that make sense. Like the vocals is more not saying. You don't like, have I'd, I'd low key need I'd low key need someone with like a nice vocal to do yeah. like my hook for me. That's what I say. You need like a hook and like a harmony kind of. Like... I low key I low key want to find uh, what I was saying is like I want to find a girl and mm. I want to do a song where I I rap but the girl does like a a ver- like a hook for me. Mm. So like I do my bars or whatever, just like a rap song, but then have a girl on the on the chorus, quote unquote, I guess you'd say, because it's yeah. not really a hook yeah. at that point. So yeah, I'd, I'd I'd like to do that, but yeah, um, 
yeah, my producer Alex just sent me a fucking. He was like, listen to some of these beats, yeah. And I was just listening to them, and I was like, yeah, this one's good, yeah, this one's good. And then I play another one, and then I, I, as soon as I hear the piano on it, I'm like, bro, this is drill, this is drill. And I was like, bro, you're putting me on drill. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, bro, let's, let's do a drill song. So like with this EP, what, what I want to do is like, oh, I want to. EP is that is that confirmed? Yeah. I know, you, like, I know you, I know you told me, but like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, EP coming soon. Uh, um, quick question. Obviously, I don't know what's on the EP, but what um, like, what is genre or like, what kind of style are you trying to go with this? I think Casper's died. I don't know. I can't hear him. But yeah, anyway, I mean, for guys that are listening still, because obviously Casper passing. His connection. Uh, Hello. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Castle's back. <laughs> Bruv, what was that about? I don't know. Like what one? But yeah, um, j- just just as you were saying, asking me, and I was answering, but you couldn't hear me. That's mm. that's quite sad. I want to aim to explore what I want to do with music going further. Oh, that's good. So, so I'm so thinking every I'm thinking. I'm thinking every song, if not every song, then every like other song. Like I want to aim for six songs, mm. and I want to have at least three or four different styles of music I put onto that EP. Okay, I see. <clears throat> so I have this one song that will be a drill song. Yeah. Not all the music on the EP is going to be drill. I'm going to have like a different one where it's just like, just rap. I'll probably have like a hype rap song as well, or, like something like Rave. <laughs> Bullet Bullet. He, oh, can we have a Wraith to part two or like, or like Ghost, which is obviously like a different Rolls Royce. I'm Imagine gonna, that. That's hard. <laughs> I'll I'll drop a, I'll drop a little um what we're working on. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but but we're trying really hard. There might be a Tokyo remix coming. Okay. A remix for Tokyo. So Wait, what I'm question. saying by remix is yep. Is it almost like a remaster? Where you're gonna yeah. redo the lyrics because obviously back then the mic wasn't on. Basically, gonna clean up the beat, make it sound nicer. Gonna clean up the vocals, make them sound nicer. Add an extra verse, minimum. Maybe get a feature if anyone wants to rap on it. <laughs> but yeah, so so that's that. Um, there's definitely a drill song on the way. Uh, we're trying to we we're thinking of a Tokyo remix. I'm thinking of like a hype rap song as well. Yeah. And then I'm thinking of something not as shit as one of my other songs that I tried to be like a real quote unquote rapper. Yeah. But I'd rather do something more like mellow, more something like like pleasing to the ear, like something that sounds nice and you can like listen to like a vibe kind of song, hmm. like a vibey kind of rap song. I kind of want to make something like that as well. But we'll, just, we'll we'll figure out along the way. All I know is I've, I've mashed out one out of six songs, over. and this one this one's gonna be a banger. <laughs> this one's gonna be a certified banger, hundred percent. I'm actually sounding quite. I mean, not sound, I mean, this sounds like quite hard. <clears throat> yeah, <Quite clears throat> I'm on the offensive. It. I be attacking. Smoked on with FIFA. Sembro packing. On the road, caught up man slacking. He had none of the brethren backing. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Calm one officer. <clears throat> yeah, nah, I'm I'm proud I'm proud of the bars because I actually took my time. So yeah, that's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I, I've decided to like I'm gonna actually go full out on this like this time. I'm gonna buy a mic. Yeah. Like a stu like like the closest I can get to a studio mic. Like the closest I can, like I don't, I I'm not gonna buy like a fucking three hundred pound mic or whatever. Nah, I mean you can get the same thing with like a Blue Yeti or whatever you can. But yeah, as long as I get like a a Blue Yeti and like one of them pop like the, this yeah. swivel double layer sound shield guard windscreen thingy, you know what all the rappers have the mm. the little like circle in front of it. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, if I just get the fucking Blue Yeti, like, here, there we go, um, Blue Yeti, oh, oh, bruv, the Rode, the Rode N- NT-USB microphone, that's what I was looking at ages ago, but it's £137, you know, I mean, I have to, 
Oh, that's... USB. Oh, shit, you know. What? Hello, what the hell? Man said USB podcast condenser microphone. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Podcast microphone. <laughs> but yeah, nah. So I'm thinking like either there's Blue Yay. Uh, so they're, they're around 100 pounds. What one? The... Or I. The Blue like... Yeti USB mic. It's just like this little little like dildo looking thing does it say for recording and streaming on pc and mac free condenser capsules blah blah, blah. is it that yeah thing? yeah it looks like a guy with hair yeah <laughs> yes yes exactly yeah i think we'll get one of those as well or um something but in that realm. but then but then this this one here the the road nt usb microphone like mm. i heard this really good i'm like road like like these mic. Casper has gone now again. Casper, you've gone AFK on the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, for you guys, um, we are looking to somewhat upgrade and put our content with like even better quality. So we want to do get a webcam. Like we are getting webcams and. The near future, like it's April now, and I'm going to be getting one next week, and Casper will be getting one the following week. And um, probably by the time you're watching this, the next pff, next two to three podcasts that pass will have well, well we will be closer to having Actually, the time um, of a fun. So Casper is going in and out of chat right now, but we will be having content coming up with the live like live cams, and we'll be able to actually have things. Can you hear me? In a crazy way. Yeah, you're here. You're back. Yes, I'm back. Don't know what's happening. This is moving mad. I got a quick question after this one. So um, yeah, obviously cool, we're going to be getting webcams soon, and we're going to basically up yes. the production. And I think, as you can see from like my personal channel and also the Lifecast channel, like the thumbnails and stuff. I guess it's not they're nothing incredible at all, not by any means. But I mean. The life cost is just the, the they're just you know what i mean they're just that's basically the branding because i don't know what to do but we'll be able to edit things in much different ways because we'll be able to have to have like pictures of us <laughs> in the <laughs> thumbnail it's gonna be sick yeah that's gonna be sick. gonna make everything a bit more um like visually pleasing because obviously the first IRL podcast and the life cost like when we're driving around like the vlog that was hard that was a fun time, <laughs> but um. Yeah, that's right. Unrelated note: What do you think about Modern Warfare Remastered? Or the MW2 like the campaign. campaign? Yeah. Um, I don't think it's worth twenty pounds. Yeah, isn't it? They should. They should have. Re- they should have released it for free, <laughs> or like a tenner. Bro, they- no bullshit. Yeah, the graphics don't even look that much better. Like, I, like I've watched this. some comparison. Like I've watched some comparison videos. Hmm. Yeah, like it's shit. <laughs> Can I just say this? Modern Warfare 2 had the one of the best graphics in COD, especially on last like the last gen game, like consoles, right? I thought it was good. I thought that like, the graphics were crazy. Like they still hold up to date if you go yeah. and compare it on like especially um, especially PC. Yeah. Especially it's PC crazy. once you get that like 19, 20, 10, 80 resolution and everything. I thought and like the um, the gun sounds. Yeah, they changed all the gun sounds and that. That's pissed me off. Why, why would you do that? They've changed. Oh, the... I didn't. I didn't even get that far to watch like the oh, guns. And stuff. It's because I've watched the walkthrough already. You know what I mean? I've watched like people. Oh yeah. Um... Nah. The only thing I've seen is a shit like on like Twitter and Instagram, like the the comparisons they did of like the scenes, like the shepherd scene and stuff like that. Yeah. Well. Okay. So obviously you haven't heard any audio clips, but basically they've changed like, the sounds of the guns. I don't know why you do that. Yeah. Like it kind of just destroys the whole point. Like the ACR and Scar, they I, well, obviously every gun sounds different. But when I heard the M4, because obviously like you're an American soldier in a fair amount of the missions, um, it just oh bro, they've <laughs> they've yeah, fucked they it. Up. You know when things don't need to be touched, but they do it for nostalgia, and that's all that like, Call of Duty is now. They're just living off nostalgia. They've remastered Modern Warfare now, Modern Warfare Two. What are they gonna do? Remaster their whole collection of games? What's the point? Yeah. So, oh man. 
Ja, yeah, so like quality is now. Mm. <clears throat> like they've realized that the old formula was good, the old, the new formula sucks, so they're just trying to I don't know, realistically how long do you think Call of Duty will last before it like how much longer will there be Call of Duty games? Like the game like there's they've been going for like the past like what like 17 18 years. Mm. How much longer is Call of Duty going to go on for? I don't know cuz they're just doing the same thing. Because realistically, like right now, they're just mashing out a different game every year. But then at the same time, it's like, they're just like mostly repeating. Like, like bro, Black, like, bro, this year will probably be Black Ops 5. But like, fucking, bro, why do you bro, need five Black Ops games, bro? After, after two, it was done. Because, well, yeah, no, nah, after, after two, it should be. After two, it was done. But this is only because three came out and there was no story. Like, there's no campaign. Yeah. Oh, well, there was a campaign, sorry. Cool. But the nah, campaign was shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bad about that. Yeah, no, nah, campaign was. Wank. I mean, the, what even was the Black Ops Three campaign? Black Ops Two, Three. Yeah, there was, there was. No, but what was it? it was, That's what I'm saying. They, 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 they fucked it. <laughs> they did, they did fuck it. I mean, too. and I'm watching the remaster versus original Modern Warfare Two, and I'm thinking the Modern Warfare Two original is so much better. Yeah, I, I like this is no like nostalgic bullshit. This is facts. Like, it just looks much better. Like they've changed the color schemes of, so you know like you know how games have like a certain palette of colors. You know what I mean like if you were to think of COD World at War, it was very like dark and like black and black and white esque. If that makes sense, like it was very um, suiting. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you think about Mario is very vibrant, but this yeah, they just completely changed it from what it was. It's like it's like making. Call of Duty, like, I don't know, Black Ops 2 with jetpacks and stuff, it's like, that's just not the same game anymore. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. No, I mean? Ah, oh, bro, like, I'm watching the remaster. I mean, I knew the footage was different when I watched the game, like, walkthrough, but just having it side by side, it's crazy, man. Fuck's sake. No. And, like, that's one thing that I'm about to say again, is, um, I, I don't have any games to play. I mean, that's not to say that I want to play or, like, I should be playing, because obviously I have time to do stuff, and, like, that's that's true. But, you know, like, I just, I can't watch Netflix, and I just want a game where I can just zone out, and I just, um, I just don't have that. That's why you need a Switch. I mean, Mel's sister does have a Switch. <laughs> Bro, the amount of games I have on there that I like, just chill, like, Pokemon, Mario Odyssey, Animal Crossing, bro, that's the kind of game, bro, you just sit down, get lost and don't fuck all, bro, it's so fun, like, Animal Crossing, bro, man was just fucking, like, man was just farming the other day, bro, <laughs> man was just fucking, like, chopping trees down and, like, planting flowers and <laughs> building my yard, like, it's just sick. I was helping other people build their yard. Like I was collecting materials for them. But it's just, just brother, you just zone. You generally lose time playing that game. <laughs> I've been banging up Pokemon as well. I've this is the first ever Pokemon game I finished the Pokedex on. So what's that like? The that's like the the Pokedex is like the like you have like in every Pokemon game there's like a set amount of Pokemon in that quote unquote region. Yeah. And, like, the whole point of Pokemon is to, like, fill out this whole thing called the Pokedex. Yeah. And the Pokedex is, like, this little, like, iPhone-looking thingy at this point. <laughs> and it shows you all of the Pokemon in that region. Yeah. And then your goal, like, the real goal of Pokemon is to, you got, literally, the catchphrase is, gotta catch them all. Mm. Of Pokemon, so that's literally what it is. And there's four, in the newest game, Sword and Shield, there's 400 Pokemon. And I've caught them all. <laughs> so yeah, man, man, mashed that out a little bit. I can't lie. So yeah, I've been doing that. I need to get Warzone, bro. Me and you are gonna dominate Warzone. Bro, I, man, it's just for it's me. like it's it's one of the most fun battle royals I've played to date, and one of the most like it's like the most fun I've had on a video game in a while. Like it's just like you get like you get pissed, but that's like like if you're a competitive player, like like us two, like mm-hmm. if you're someone that's very competitive, you're gonna get pissed. Like yesterday, I don't, be- bro, I lost a one v one for the win of the game. 
But, bruv, this guy was eating bullets, bruv. I don't understand. It was a 2v1. My teammate got shot in the back. I turn around. This man is eating. He's eating, bruv. Bruv, I had 11 kills as well, bruv. Fucking mashing all them, man, bruv. They're all getting panned. Hate to see it. Yeah, I got, like, second, fifth, and ninth three games in a row. Like, (laughs) top ten three times in a row, and I was pissed. I really want to play it. I want to give it a go. It's really fucking good. Like, I remember me and you used to fucking mash out Fortnite, bruv. This is 100 times better than Fortnite. You know we were never, like, good at Fortnite in comparison to some people, but we were still banging. Does that make sense? Like, nah, we, we were still... pretty... Like, at one point, we were pretty good. Mm. That's true. But this is before like, everything like became... season, Like, season 3, 4, 5-ish, when me mm. and you were playing, like... Before everyone was building fucking massive towers, <laughs> me and you, like... Me and you got a couple wins. I mean, I felt confident when we played. Like we. Were... Yeah. <laughs> now, nah, but now, nah, but this game, bro. I feel, bro. This game, this battle royale is the most confident I've ever. F- like, I feel on this game, like you know, on Fortnite, like or like like whatever other game, like H1Z1 or PUBG or whatever. Like most games, I don't know if you've played like most like battle royales, but like 100% Fortnite, like me and you. Like sometimes, if you see someone, it's like, do we push him? Do we not? Like that yeah. kind of thing. 90% of the time on Warzone, unless it's like a really disadvantageous position, yeah. 90% of the time on Warzone, I'm like, yeah, I'm pushing because I'm confident because I'm like, I say I'm above average at Call of Duty. Mm. In order, so I'm like, I I feel confident to push these kids. I like a lot of the times I like 1v3 teams. It's like, Damn. okay, cool. That's easy. I feel. I feel like when it's because of the Call of Duty programming, like from us. Yeah, bro, um... it's just hardwired into me, bro. Like I know what to do on COD to like. Yeah, it's confidence, man. It's just that it's just that confidence of the game looks like COD, it runs like COD, it works like COD. So I'm like, bro, this is just easy claps for me. Bro. <laughs> I can't lie. Like I've only got four wins or something like that, but it's stupid how many kills I've got. I've played I've played a hundred and. 40 games, I think, plus or minus. I've got like 780 kills. Yeah. Bruv, I've I've got mates that I've played a similar... Like, I've got mates who I've played with that have like two less games than me. Yeah. Uh, or two or three less games than me and have like four or five hundred less kills than me. Shit. Wait, this is just really random. You know in Modern Warfare 3? Yeah. You know when Yuri... Like, the Yuri backstory of him being in No Russian, but he get shot before because yeah. he finds out like Marco finds out that like, he's a traitor bro in no yeah. Russian in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered the part where you're playing as Yuri and you're chasing after the people you actually see him fall over what is it? that you see him chasing after that's crazy <laughs> that's mad <laughs> I mean that's crazy that's crazy but yeah it's like really mad <laughs> yeah that just came out of nowhere <laughs> but yeah, nah, you need to get on Warzone. We're getting dubs if you come on Warzone, bro. I don't have my PS4 me, on me, man. I wish I did. Because me and you are just mashing, bro. It's, it's actually peak. Bro, me I wish I had my PS4. It's at my it's at my house, not Mel's. Start on a PC, see if you can run it. Even if you even if you can run it and I can't run it, then we can just crossplay. <laughs> it's not that deep. That's cool. But, bro, honest to God, yeah, like... I'm, I'm like, average... I have an average of 2KD in the battle royale. That's mm, decent. That's good. Like, I mean, my height, like, I've dropped off, like, it's it's hard to maintain it, but, like, I've got constant 1.9. I think I'm at, like, 1.91 right now, but my highest was 2.01. I had a 2.01 KD and was it at one point. <laughs> so that's not too bad, you know, it's, like, averaging, like, I'm, I'm averaging five kills a game right now. Not too bad. Yeah. I'm the top of my leaderboard for, like, everything that wins. Like, it's really annoying. <laughs> Bro, Danny, Danny's hard, bro, he's banging out, he's got almost 10 wins already. <laughs> Every time in our group chat, he's like, oh, like, everyone's like, oh, who's playing? And then it's like, Danny's already playing, <laughs> he's banging out. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he, from the looks of things, he's decent. <laughs> See, it's like, that's my problem with battle royale games, I always get kills, but I don't get wins. It's like, it's like, the, the kills don't mean anything if I don't get a win. <laughs> really annoying. But yeah, so yeah, that's that. I mean, otherwise, 
I, I have Witcher that I still need to play on PC. Ooh, I, I've, yeah. bought, I've bought it, but I haven't played it much recently. It's, 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 <laughs> and I need to play a bit more. Um, No cap, also, fucking... Jan wants me to play Dota with him. Oh, God. I might, just because I'm bored, I might give it a go again, but... <laughs> that's, um, that's a rave move, man. I mean, what have I got to lose, right? My sanity, <laughs> but that's already slowly going, so it's like... I'm not going to lose a month. Come on. Uh, in other news, the new um, uh, leader of the Labour Party got elected today. Oh, nice. Is it... Who is it? Uh, some Donny, bruv. I don't even... I can't even... Well, let, me, uh, let me try to find his name, bruv. Like, something... Keir Stana? Stana? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, Keir Stromer, <laughs> Labor, leader of the Labour Party, member of parliament for Holborn and St Pancras. Nice. <laughs> Former director of public prosecutions. Cool man. Nice. I see some people. I think I think the Labour people are not happy about him being elected. Oh, because apparently be. he's he. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I've just been reading Twitter. I don't really. I don't really. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really associate myself with politics. I don't. I don't know if I care enough. I don't know. No, it, no. I, it's a bad. It's a bad approach. But it's like, do I care if it's this guy or that guy? At the no. end of the day, like, like the decision will be made whether this guy's in charge or this guy's in charge. Mm. Like, it's like whatever the, the party wants is what the party will get. people. On Twitter, really pissed me off. I say they just have no brain. <laughs> I'm not naming any names. Yeah, no, I, don't. <laughs> I think we all know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, j- j- uh, anyway, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, crazy yeah. how they just don't think. You know what I mean? Like, they think oh. everything is just going to be somehow magically funded by the government, and that therefore we can just have that to share, or like you know what I mean? Like that, that just somehow means like that's communism. Yeah. And communism doesn't work without capitalism. At all. Yes. I mean, look, yeah. Communism's a sticky one, because the idea is good. It's just the... Just the... The way it's... It's very... (laughs) Very much by the way, the fact that it doesn't work. (laughs) Yeah, but the the idea is good. (laughs) It's like, I don't... I don't mind the idea of, like, having, like inferiority mm. like it's a nice idea ha- it's like everyone's equal yeah but then at the same time it's like but it's like it's like um like from the stories i've heard from my parents and shit because they lived in like a communist setting for like yeah similar to my as well 15 20 years of their life or whatever it was um like it doesn't it, like obviously it's bad because of the whole dictatorship and like that part of it yeah but like at the same time it's like everyone's forced to work like you can't not work <laughs> like if if you if like you had to carry this shit around this like and it shows you and like your workplace has to like put stamps in it mm. and if the police catches you and you ain't got no stamps bruv you're checked you're you're getting put in the, those jobs that no one likes <laughs> so it's like bruv bin man or something yeah and then, so that's all good, but it's just like, but the, at, at the other side, it's like, you've got money. The, the funniest thing about communism was that people had money, but didn't have what to spend it on. It's crazy. Everybody was rich. Yeah. But it didn't count. But Because you had to have like these like tokens and shit. Mm. Like, it's like rations in the war, but like for normal like people okay and it's like money didn't really matter yeah. it's those ticket things that mattered and it's like if you don't have a ticket blood you can have like ten thousand pounds and you're still not buying bread <laughs> you run out of tickets really that kind of shit like that was that was like the really that was the really weird side of communism it's like it makes sense because everyone's equal but then it's like well, what's the point of even having money at the end of but yeah no nah. crazy Com- communism is a nice idea, everyone's equal, but flawed because the state is basically like given everything. 
but yeah, Damn. less about communism. I mean, I think that's a good place to end. I think for the next podcast, I have like a bit more of like um. I mean, we'll be doing it pretty very soon in the next couple of days. But I have like a business venture that will be starting after coronavirus. I wouldn't mind Cheers. giving like a little talk on kind of how I can get so many people involved. And like recently, yeah. If you want, if yeah. you want, we could do like an interview. Yeah, because I could um, do an interview with you. I could just be <laughs> like, so what do you want to do? do? <laughs> what that. is your plan? Let's, what is your let's goal? Let's do that. We we'll do like an interview episode because I mean. Logan Paul just did that on his podcast and I haven't watched it but I wouldn't mind watching it because I like I don't mind him now because obviously he's kind of like matured but anyway this is completely different so um <laughs> basically yeah I would like to just talk about it and almost what I want to do but like one of my biggest goals and stuff is always to give back to make those... money nah not even that it's like it's more about freedom so I can help others and um basically give back to the people that have always been there for me so like my family obviously like they without them without family you're kind of like for me like family is a big thing but it's also like the friends that i'd consider family so like you glenn a bart and some others who i've grown yeah. up with or like you really helped me through the shit and obviously that's like a whole different video like in the future like the shit that we've gone through right yeah so you know what i mean it'd be nice to be able to start off with a small nest egg and then just bloom it and then build it and have like a really good infrastructure that people can almost like help and grow you know? yeah so um yeah that's like that's for me really yeah we'll do that cool we will do that we can do like an interview kind of episode yeah cool so um Come. yeah we could we can have that plan so for for you anything that you want to touch upon before we wrap um, this up? Nah, I think I was talking about my stuff, so like the music yeah. and everything. I think I think I'm up to date, to be honest. I mean, I'm looking forward to it because obviously you're the one doing it, but it'd be really nice to see like the progression. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is gonna be hopefully miles ahead of anything that I've ever put out. So, I mean, it's gonna we can probably do like a comparison video, or you know, what I mean, see on like a video, and we can just show like the difference between. Yeah, two years to the ago. Evolution to of yeah. uh, 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 evolution of Xandera. Yeah, probably. exactly. And it'd be nice for you probably to like have like a <laughs> it's up to you, have like a whole new social media page for Casper, the brand, like Extendo or like you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously yeah. for me, I've got my personal one which is just like my own pictures and I chat on that one to my friends. And also yeah. I have like the personal brand which isn't of any value right now because it only comes of value when the time is right and without having all these hundreds of posts and videos you're building like credibility so then eventually it's going to come into play yeah, for when 100%. it's needed so yeah i mean um do you want to bring this one out or should i yeah i'll bring it out so that yeah, voice break. <laughs> what voice break bro He's like, yeah. i i have me on what voice break <laughs> You want to be on? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, thank you guys for watching this. Well, listening to this podcast. Soon watching. Yeah, I can't wait for that. This podcast. There's no excuse um, to not be on it. Twenty fours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for listening to this podcast. Hope you enjoyed our rambling on about everything again. Um. Yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the videos, share with your friends, family. Everyone's bored during this coronavirus, you know. <laughs> Might as well watch a bit of the live cast while you're at it. Put it oh, on wow. while you're put on while you're studying. Listen to us waffling. Don't know if you're <laughs> just sitting scrolling Twitter or anything. Just listen to us. If you're in the car, you yeah. can't really watch YouTube, <laughs> but you know, yeah. Just if you're if you're bored, just watch us, and you won't be bored. Well, I mean, you might be bored, but <laughs> that's <us> anyway. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Uh. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um. Have a stay safe. Have a have a blessed weekend, yeah, or safe. whenever you guys are listening, because for us it's the weekend. Mm. Yeah, either way, uh, we catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Bro, my trimmer is so dead. <laughs>